Samsung's One UI 7.0 beta has created quite a buzz, and for good reason. The company is tackling a critical aspect of the user experience. Animations. These aren't just cosmetic flourishes. They're what bring our interactions with smartphones to life. But even as we explore the first One UI 7.0 beta, Samsung admits there's still work to be done. Curious? Stick around. Oh, and before we dive deeper, make sure to join our membership. The link is in the description. The buzz started when a keen-eyed beta tester in the United States community forums pointed out that app transition animations in the first One UI 7.0 beta aren't as smooth as those in an earlier internal testing version. It's an astute observation, given that the earlier animations seemed more fluid and natural. Samsung didn't shy away from this critique. In fact, a community moderator responded candidly, acknowledging the issue and confirming that animation improvements are very much a work in progress. The unfolding effect with deceleration in ZXKN, referring to the internal build, indeed sounds more fluid and natural, the moderator said, before assuring users that the development team is actively addressing the feedback. For smartphone users, animations are more than just visual flair. They're fundamental to how we interact with our devices. Think about it. Opening and closing apps, swiping through menus, scrolling. These actions all rely on animations to make the experience seamless and intuitive. When these transitions are smooth, we don't notice them. But when they're off, even slightly, it can disrupt the user experience and leave us yearning for better fluidity. Samsung seems to understand this deeply. During the Samsung Developer Conference 2024, the company emphasized its vision for One UI 7.0, creating an emotional connection between users and their Galaxy devices. Their goal is ambitious but clear. Animations that aren't just functional, but also evoke a wow factor. Central to One UI 7.0's philosophy are three keywords, simple, impactful, and emotive. Samsung envisions purposeful simplicity, a refreshed signature aesthetic, and animations designed to leave a lasting impression. A new blur engine is part of this overhaul, ensuring transitions are visually stunning while maintaining performance. But the first beta firmware is just the beginning. It's apparent that Samsung is laying the groundwork for a much more refined experience in subsequent updates. Beta testing, after all, is a collaborative process between developers and users, and feedback like this drives innovation forward. While we wait for the next beta release, it's worth reflecting on the significance of such updates. Software development, especially for something as complex as a smartphone user interface, is an ongoing process. Every beta build represents a step toward perfection, fueled by community insights and technological breakthroughs. If you haven't explored the One UI 7.0 beta yet, it's a fascinating glimpse into the future of Samsung software. And speaking of the future, don't forget to join our membership for exclusive updates and insights. The link is in the description. There's no telling exactly when the next beta build will drop, but the signs are promising. Samsung's transparent acknowledgement of areas needing improvement shows their commitment to delivering a polished final product. For now, the first One UI 7.0 beta offers plenty to explore and critique, keeping tech enthusiasts busy while Samsung works behind the scenes. These incremental changes might seem minor, but collectively, they have the potential to redefine how we interact with our devices. As Samsung continues to refine One UI 7.0, the anticipation builds. Users want to see animations that not only enhance functionality, but also resonate on an emotional level. This is the direction Samsung appears to be heading, and it's exciting to imagine what the final version of One UI 7.0 might bring. Until then, the beta program gives us a front row seat to the evolution of Samsung's vision. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this deep dive into One UI 7.0 and want more exclusive content, consider joining our membership. The link, as always, is in the description. Stay tuned for more updates, and we'll see you next time. The smartphone industry is constantly evolving with each new year bringing us flagship devices that push the boundaries of technology and design. In this video, we'll be taking a close look at the two biggest names in the smartphone world right now, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both phones are powerhouses in their own right, but how do they stack up against each other? Let's dive into the battle of the bigs. Design and size, as expected,
Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't deviate much from its predecessor when it comes to design. The rectangular shape, soft corners, flat sides, and dynamic island pill-shaped cutout remain. This year, however, the screen has grown from 6.7 inches to a massive 6.9 inches, making it the largest display ever on an iPhone. Its bezels are even thinner, but the overall dimensions have changed slightly, measuring 163 millimeters by 77.6 millimeters. In comparison, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly smaller at 162.3 millimeters in height, but a bit wider at 79 millimeters, making it easier to handle for users who love to use the S Pen for sketching or taking notes. Speaking of the S Pen, Samsung once again offers the stylus nestled into the bottom of the Galaxy S24 Ultra. It's a feature that remains unique to Samsung in the flagship market and one that many users either love or it more completely. The precision of the S Pen developed in partnership with Wacom is something to be admired, making it a fantastic tool for creative tasks. Apple, on the other hand, introduces some new tricks with its buttons. The Action Button, which debuted in the iPhone 15 Pro series returns, offering customizable functions for launching apps or activating Siri shortcuts. But the real star of the show is the new Camera Control Button. This physical key, equipped with a capacitive surface, allows users to control the camera with a swipe, much like a traditional camera shutter button, enhancing the photography experience. Both phones come in sleek color options. The iPhone 16 Pro Max offers titanium finishes in white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Meanwhile, Samsung gives users a broader selection with titanium violet, yellow, black, and gray, and three exclusive colors if you order directly from Samsung's website. Display differences. When it comes to display, both phones boast impressive technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 6.9-inch OLED panel with a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display that can drop its refresh rate to just 1Hz, keeping your wallpaper or photos visible even when the phone is asleep. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra comes equipped with its signature AMOLED screen, also featuring a 120Hz refresh rate and an always-on display. However, Samsung has a slight edge here with its anti-reflective coating, which makes the screen much easier to see outdoors. In contrast, the iPhone struggles with reflections in bright sunlight despite its high brightness. Color accuracy is another area where the two phones differ slightly. The iPhone's display leans towards a yellowish hue, while the Galaxy has a bit of a teal tint. But with both phones offering blue light filters and adaptive color calibration, these differences are minimal in day-to-day -day use. One new feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop to an incredibly low one-nit brightness level, making it easier on the eyes in dark environments. Samsung's display already hovers around this level, so both phones are excellent for nighttime use, performance, and software. Under the hood, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest 18 Pro chip, built on a second-gen 3 nanometer process by TSMC. This cutting-edge chip brings significant improvements in performance and efficiency, particularly when it comes to handling heavy tasks like gaming and AI-driven processes. Apple has also focused on better heat dissipation, addressing the overheating issues that plagued the A17 Pro chip. The Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, specifically tuned for Samsung devices. While both chips are incredibly powerful, benchmarks show that Apple's A18 Pro takes the lead in CPU performance, However, in 3D graphics tests, the Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind, offering stellar gaming performance. Both Apple and Samsung are pushing into the realm of AI, with dedicated NPU cores to handle AI tasks. The iPhone 16 Pro Max comes with Apple Intelligence, which will roll out new features gradually, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra already boasts AI-powered features like live translation, generative image editing, and transcript summaries. As for software, the iPhone runs iOS, which has seen some welcome changes this year, bringing it closer to the flexibility of Android. You can now place app icons anywhere on the home screen and even customize their colors. But if customization is what you're after, Samsung's One UI still reigns supreme with features like split-screen multitasking, themes, and more. Samsung has also stepped up its software update game, promising seven years of updates for the Galaxy S24 Ultra compared to Apple's five-year commitment for the iPhone. Camera capabilities. Apple has made some significant upgrades to the cameras on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, particularly the ultra-wide camera, which now features a 48 megapixel sensor. The main camera remains at 48 megapixel, and the 5X telephoto camera comes with a 12 megapixel sensor. 
A new lens coating helps reduce the lens flare issue that has been prevalent in recent iPhone models, especially during night shots. Samsung, as always, is pushing the envelope with its camera hardware. The Galaxy S24 Ultra boasts a hopping 200 megapixel main camera alongside a 12 megapixel ultra wide, a 10 megapixel 3X telephoto, and a 50 megapixel 5X zoom camera. While the megapixel count might seem impressive, the real magic happens in post processing. Both phones have excellent cameras, but Samsung has a slight edge in zoom performance, while the iPhone tends to over sharpen fine details like leaves or grass. In low light conditions, both phones perform admirably. But the iPhone's new lens coating helps reduce the flare and artifacts that can appear in night photos. Samsung, on the other hand, continues to struggle slightly with oversaturated greens in its images, but this is only noticeable when directly comparing photos side by side, battery and charging. When it comes to battery life, both phones pack a punch. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra comes with a slightly larger 5,000 mAh battery. However, Samsung takes the lead in charging speeds, offering 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt. For wireless charging, Apple's MagSafe offers 25 watt, while Samsung's wireless charging maxes out at 15 watt. Conclusion. So, which phone is the better choice? It's a tough call. The iPhone 16 Pro Max impresses with its sleek design, powerful A18 Pro chip, and improved cameras, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra excels with its S Pen, higher megapixel count, and faster charging speeds. Ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and whether you're more entrenched in Apple's ecosystem or Samsung's Android world. Either way, you're getting a top-tier smartphone that won't disappoint. What do you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until then, take care, goodbye.